Hello and welcome to Let's Play Robot Wars Arenas of Destruction Part 5. I must thank everybody in the last part for pointing out all the mistakes I made with Harry Potter. But I don't understand how you're so fussy as soon as I make a mistake about a story where wizards hit puberty. You're like, uh, 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 but you're not fussed about serious grammatical or spelling errors I make. Like, for example, part 31 of Let's Play Extreme Destruction. Instead of saying, I am the master of smooth transitions between topics, I basically said I am the master of two-wheeled death machines, which I always thought was Stinger. Anyway, I see what you mean now. Um, I think it was Headbanger. Collateral damage. Uh, it's called Advanced Not Robot Wars, so let's... I need the collateral damage first because I want to see what no sea oil rigs like. I don't think I've played on this much. But anyway, you may have just caught a glimpse there. I've basically modified MC Hammer so it's now more like MC Axe, but that doesn't sound as good. So, yeah, I've now got a scoop like Behemoth and Kevlar armor and I've changed it to a spring loaded axe. Okay, and now let's prevent this earthquake from occurring and I've changed it to the camera that you'll probably recognise from Extreme Destruction. Hopefully this will solve some of the difficulties. Apparently not, because it's got some stupid angles there. But anyway, um, I've not actually played this on Extreme Destruction. I don't think, but collateral damage is basically attacks these inanimate objects as opposed to the other robots to get points. Um, so yeah, uh, you can attack the other robots, but you get more points for attacking the barrels and the tubing as well. Oh, you get off my barrel. This is my barrel. Get off my land. Okay, if I go up this ramp, there's even more barrels. Woohoo. No, I managed to push one off. Let's push him off now. You annoying person. Ah, there you go. Tossed you over. Okay, so it's basically a very slow spring load hack, this one, so it's very powerful, but it is also quite slow, so... I can just use the scoop and it will destroy the barrel. What kind of a scoop is that? Or should I say, what kind of a barrel is that? Anyway... You know, the commentary is actually quite helpful in this game, because it tells you if your opponents have been immobilized, whereas before, you could probably say, it would, in Extreme Destruction, it would probably just say, Oh, and he's immobilized! As soon as you start the game, I've qualified! And, well, that's the first time I'm happy to hear qualified, as opposed to just won, because... I'm really not that good at collateral damage, but apparently neither is Smoghead, so I won with that many points. Jesus, how bad were the other robots? Okay. Only just I think only my weapon and armor is needing to repair, so let's just um do that. Let's go. Let's see sabotage round two. Oh no, it's an earthquake again! Three, two, okay, what I don't understand is why does that timer say zero and then it suddenly jumped to 90? The yeah, they weird. Going into this game, 89 is followed by zero. Anyway, I'll just attack as many barrels as possible, hopefully. Yeah, I've got a load of flamethrowers. Now in this game, I don't think they're as good uh, as in Extreme Destruction. Because basically, if you're up against a flamethrower person, you may as well give up if you can't immobilize them. Uh, never mind. If everything else fails, I could always just call in a concrete donkey. Okay, those tubes are also point worthy. Um, I'll just attack the purple predator. That guy can't drive, so I doubt he'll be able to get any more points. Wait a minute, how did he magically appear to the right of me when he was stuck on the left? Before? 
I don't know how wet this can be weighted. Mm. Yes, now I'm just basically driving around walking for any more obstacles I'll have to go up this ramp. Oh no, that robot's attacking me. Oh, nope. H for help. I need it. I've got 12 seconds to cause as much damage to the other robots as possible. Ooh, I think I've just broken off his sword. Let's just attack this box on wheels. I've lost my scoop. Oh, obviously. No, I've tipped over. I... I've won! Wow, wow. That's all I can be bothered to do because... I really don't think I'll be real. I want to keep this winning streak going, so... Let's have a look. Hey, I got more points this time. I actually got more points than Tinky Winky in gayness rating. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Woohoo! Even worse than a fist, a tin can. Bye!